So the thing is, is that I want to keep making forward progress on my novel, but this is a particularly chaotic period in my life. So I'd come up with this way of working on my novel that I stupidly call the bucket writing method. And here's how it goes. Wait, actually, first let me kind of pigeonhole myself into some category. I'm the type of guy who is terrified of losing track of things. I believe that things in life need to be carefully organized and managed. I don't believe in this idea that everything will all magically come together if you believe in it. I don't believe that my characters speak to me and all I have to do is listen to them and I'll be able to write this great novel. In fact, I'm pretty convinced that everything will turn into an incomprehensible disaster unless you go to great lengths to tame and shape the thing. At the same time, I also think that outlining every detail of your novel will destroy any energy that you have in your novel. Um, I think that if you write some part of your book while you're lost and scared shitless, it will add some power to the book. I think the emotional energy of the book can come from the author discovering things along the way. So I guess I'm lost between these worlds, and, and that's how I operate with my writing. I'm not a hardcore outliner, and I can't just write without knowing what I'm doing for a year and feel like that's okay either. Okay, so let's let's get to my bucket writing plan. So first off, before I start, I target a particular aspect of the book that I want to focus on. This is something that I just think needs attention, either because I'm excited about it or because I know it's a disaster area. This can be like a section of the story, like the part of the novel between when they get off the train and when the main character opens up his store. Or it can be a more character driven issue, like maybe all the scenes related to Ruth arguing with her husband when she's upset that they're so poor. Or it can be something theme related, like all the parts of the book that deal with racial or religious issues. So I don't think about it too hard, but I just come up with some sort of area or bucket that I want to focus on at the moment. And then for a month, every morning when I wake up, when I'm still in that kind of paralyzed, lying in bed, feeling like I may never be able to move my body again phase, I reach for my iPhone and I scribble something related to that aspect of the book that I'm working on. I don't worry about quality or whether it fits chronologically in some way or if I've written something like this before or even if it goes off topic. But I just have that idea in mind of what I'm trying to do and I just run with it. Some days I might write a thousand words while in that daze and I might even work on it later in the day. I'm so excited about it. Some days I just write 87 words and it sickens me to think about how crappy the writing went. But I try to get something done each day. And even on a week when my mornings aren't going particularly well and I don't do this half awake writing, then I'll scribble something, let's say, from the bathroom stall of my day job. Or anywhere. Anything that I write that's more than zero words counts as a triumph. I do this for a month. After a month, I take a break. And I allocate some time to look at this steaming pile of crap that I've produced. I organize it. I rate it for quality. If I'm lucky, some are so ready to go that they just slip right into my novel with some minor tweaks. A lot of them have some potential, but they need more cleanup. Some cause me to just take other notes or come up with other ideas or observations or insights. And some are just total throwaway. They're just as crappy as I feared they would be. But I spend that some period of time organizing them, figuring out what goes into the novel, what partly goes in. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm scared of having 700 vague scribblings that I don't know what to do with. So that's why I give myself a month of scribblings to clean up and fit it into the book. That might take me about two weeks. I don't really set a deadline, but roughly two weeks. And then I do it all over again. I pick another bucket and I run with it. It sounds pretty basic when I say it out loud, but this helped take some of the impossibleness out of writing a novel when busy, at least for me. The other thing I like is that Every month I change things up, so it's kind of refreshing. Sometimes I'm thinking more plot, sometimes I'm thinking character, sometimes I'm thinking stream of consciousness, sometimes I'm thinking dialogue. But with that kind of review cycle that I do afterwards, it gets back into the novel in some form, or at least provides some insight. And, you know, does, does this make for a good novel? I hope so, but I can't prove it. I'll have to tell you when I get to the end. Either way, 
It seems like it's a way to handle working on a novel, and it's saved me a lot of money on therapy and Xanax.